in our define coordinate system options, we have four options of different ways to choose our coordinate system. Let's start with the first one, and also the most popular one, select face. By select face, all I have to do is simply click on any face, and I will automatically get a coordinate system where the Z direction will be 90 degrees to that particular surface. Now, when I click on the face, it doesn't make a difference whether I click this face or this face or this face here. If I click on this face, you'll note that the coordinate system has been automatically placed in the bottom left-hand corner of the part, whereas the X direction, which is in red, is going to this direction, the Y direction, and the Z direction going perpendicular to the surface that I created. Now, I could have also done this, instead of corner of model box, I could have simply said also top center of model box. Now, if I click it, you'll note that the coordinate system is exactly in the center of the entire part. Because the system put me on this particular spot over here, in this particular case, top center of model box, or as before in the corner, doesn't mean I'm locked at that position, that I can't move it. First of all, note that around the part itself, the moment I clicked on the face, a temporary sketch has been created in the form of a box around the part, giving me corners over here, also giving me points on the halfway of each line, plus the halfway middle of each surface. What I can do with that is very simple. I can go down now in my pick area and say pick origin. In my pick origin, I can simply click on any point and the home position will be moved automatically in the same XYZ direction, but only now on that origin itself. I can click over here. I can click over here, here, wherever I want. That's the place I can put my home position. Now I'll go back to my middle position over here. And let's say I want to take my X direction, but not have it facing as you see now, but rather 90 degrees in the other direction. All I have to do is I can go down and say flip around Z. Note that the home position now has flipped 90 degrees, and every single time I click around, flip around Z, the home position just continues moving in 90 degrees. I can do the same in Y direction, same thing in the X direction. I can move my home position to any position I really want. Now I'm going to take my pick origin and click over here. We also have something else here called pick XY origin. If I were to click on pick XY origin, the XY origin, the, the origin will actually move only in the XY direction. So in other words, if I were to click, let's say, on this position over here, it'll move to that position, but only in the XY area. Same thing if I were to click on, for some reason, on this point over here. The same thing will be done over here. Bring it back to over there, not a problem. Now, if I were to go further down, you can see we have another field here called Delta X, Y, and Z. This allows me to move my origin in a specific direction away from the point that I am on right now. In other words, if I want to go in my X direction, let's say minus two millimeters, you'll note that I just moved two millimeters. Same thing in my Y, same thing in my Z. 
If I put this back to zero, it'll go back to my zero position. In other words, I don't have to make a sketch point in order to get my um, origin to that particular area. I can simply move it in the delta. Putting it back at zero, it'll simply go back there. Now, if I go a little further down, I can even rotate my home position, not simply flip it around by 90 degrees, but move it to an exact measurement. If I were to, say, flip it 20 degrees in my Z direction, you'll note that it now turned 20 degrees in my Z direction. Okay, all I want to do right now is simply put it on zero, and I'm basically done over here, and that's my first coordinate system for this part. I'll simply click on the V to accept it. Thank you for joining us today on Solid Kim Professor on our lesson on creating a new part in Milling. Take care and have a nice day.